beginning of the show. How did you describe it? Your hair is on Your fire. Your hair is on fire. Yeah. And two hours later, we put a crown on somebody's head. Right. This is their moment, and we just want to shine a light on them and make it feel special. Well, ABC 15's Danielle Lerner catching up with Chris Harrison and Sage Steele about co-hosting this year's Miss America competition airing right here on ABC 15 tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. Yeah, our own Miss Arizona doing her best to win that crown, although I think she's already a shoe in because she's from Arizona and she's just so great. As a matter of fact, she's yeah. been tweeting up a storm recently. Look so this. look, she's talking about she ran into some fellow Sun Devils this in Atlantic City. Right on. Forks up there. Uh, very cool. Just tweeting out. She's got a a lot of hospitality there and just a great megawatt smile. So we're hoping for a big win for her. We're really, really excited. And ABC 15's Danielle Lerner actually spent some time with Caitlin Nemec before the trek to the big stage. A moment six tries in the making. First Miss Arizona, now Caitlin Nemec is competing for Miss America. The driving force of you know why I'm here and why I love to do what I do is just knowing the kind of impact that I can have on uh, people in our communities. We spent some time with Caitlin while she was volunteering at ASUPD's Special Victims Unit, working to revamp the space for victims who need help. Some pretty furniture and some art just to make it feel a little bit more like home instead of a police department. The Arizona native and proud Sun Devil hopes to showcase what our state has to offer while shedding light on a platform close to her heart. Bullying stops here. It's a program that I created, but it truly shows the, the poly victimization that comes out when someone's a victim of child abuse or domestic violence, how susceptible they are to being a victim of bullying. My talent is baton twirling. But even if Caitlin's Miss America dream doesn't come true, she says there's still plenty of work to be done right here at home. I will be going in speaking to schools. I'll be working with our local police departments. I will be working with nonprofit organizations to just better serve people in Arizona. Danielle Lerner, ABC 15 News.